Not quite enough gas. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dath and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to more Gen 7 random battles. Got a little tired of them monotypes, had to take a little break. So I lead off with a Tropius, he leads off with a Lee Vanny. Uh, is able to knock off my Citrus Berry, which is not good at all because Tropius does have Harvest and he's able to stall extremely well with that. Um, on the fortunate side, I'm able to hit it with an Air Slash. It hangs on with Focus Sash, comes back with X Scissor, uh, but that's not able to affect my Flying and Grass type extremely well. And I'm able to just Giga Drain that thing into the ground, even though it is an extremely resistant hit. He comes in with the Rotom Heat, which is a scary, scary thing. I'm thinking that it might overheat, so I protect and see that it's going to try and go for Bolt Switch. I'm not sure whether it's a Choice Scarf or not, but I decide to risk it. And I see now that it has a Life Orb, uh, but it still goes for Bolt Switch. I'm able to live through that, and he sends out an Aromatisse, which is uh, a really strange Pokemon. And it's able to dodge my Leech Seed, even though it is fat and disgusting. And it's able to dodge my Leech Seed again. I really, really don't like this thing. Um, <clears throat> it's able to take down my Tropius, one of my top 10 favorite Pokemon, with a Boon Blast. So rest in peace, Mr. Banana Neck. Um, for his replacement, I decide to send out a Parasect. Go ahead and uh, hit the Spore now, which is a 100% accuracy sleep move. Really, really nice. Um, gonna get the Leech Seed on the Aromatisse, but he decides to switch that out. Goes back into the Rotom Heat. Um, I'm expecting the Overheat or something from it now, but at least it has the Leech Seed on it, so that is gonna be some nice residual damage in addition to its Life Orb. I switch out my Parasect because he's definitely gonna hit that Overheat. I send in the Soul Rock, and uh, there's the Overheat. Luckily it is a resisted move. Uh, Soul Rock able to resist it with its Rock and Psychic typing, um, and I'm even able to come back a little more because the Leech Seed is still ticking away on it. Bolt Switch is not going to do much at all against me, um, but it does get rid of his Leech Seed, which, you know, give and take, I suppose. He sends in the Whale Lord now, which I really would have liked to get the Leech Seed on. I take the opportunity to set up my Stealth Rocks, which is going to be extremely helpful in taking down that Rotom Heat. Gonna knock 25% of his health off every time it comes in. Uh, he hits me with an Ice Beam, which is super effective, but not quite enough to KO me. I'm able to get the Light Screen and the Reflect up, and uh, he is going to be able to Ice Beam me into the ground, but at least the screens are up, so good job, Soul Rock. Set up Stealth Rock and screens all in one, and uh, now I bring in my Caesar to, uh, to bring some doom to that Whale Lord. Hopefully with the Bug Bite, something like that. This Caesar is not packing a uh, Bullet Punch or Swords Dance. It's really quite a strange set, but um, at least it does have uh, Caesarite to Mega Evolve into a uh, Mega Evolve Caesar. So I'm going to go for the Bug Bite and Bug Bite some more because for some reason this thing doesn't have a Steel Move, which I I I can't even understand why you would make a Caesar without a Steel Move. But um, the Aromatis finally wakes up. It is just a little bit too late for it though. Uh, it tries to get a wish going, uh, but I'm gonna keep bug biting. Fortunately, I'm able to KO this Rotom Heat because of Stealth Rock damage with the bug bite. So you can see even resisted bug bites um, are doing some pretty nice damage to his team. So I'm gonna keep on going with it. Uh, he sends in the Rapidash now, which is able to uh, take a bunch of damage from Stealth Rocks. But it's also able to take out my Caesar with just one hit, even through the Reflect, which is really fucking impressive. Uh, I don't want to send out Parasect because that thing is also going to go down. If Caesar couldn't live it, then Parasect's definitely not going to live it. Um, Azelf is faster than Rapidash, so I'm able to KO that thing with the Psy Shock. Um, he had a lot of residual damage from the Stealth Rocks and from the uh, Flare Blitz. So my Reflect is now down which is not good. Uh, I'm gonna miss that Soul Rock for sure. Um, he sends in the Whale Lord, and I just go ahead and go for the knockoff, which is a pretty good choice. Uh, he was holding a Choice Scarf. Now he's gonna get the freedom to pick his move, but uh, Hydro Pump seems like what he would go for again if we were able to find out, um, but we're not because I get a crit on the Psy Shock. The Whale Lord goes down. I really, really am having a good time with this this team. It's kind of more of a derpy team aside from Azelf and Scizor, um, 
but so is his team, you know. That's that's one of the reasons I love random battles so much is because uh, you get the chance to use Pokemon that you wouldn't normally use so often. So he sends in the Karakosta now. I'm going to go ahead and taunt this thing because every Karakosta I see has Shell Smash on it. And that's exactly what he was going to go for. I'm going to go ahead and knock off to get rid of his White Herb. And uh, he's going to come back at me for sure with a Stone Edge and KO my Azelf, which is relatively okay. Um... It's not going to be good to send Parasect in here because he does have that Stone Edge, but I'm thinking that maybe I could get him to sleep or put the Leech Seed on him. That's not going to happen. <laughs> As I said, Stone Edge just uh, able to tear through that Parasect. Maybe uh, if he used a Water Move or locked himself into a Water Move, Parasect would be able to do some work, uh, but that's not the case. Drift Blim, my final Pokemon, is also going to get nailed by Stone Edge, so I go ahead and go for Will-O-Wisp to cut his attack power in half, and uh, that works relatively well. Stone Edge is able to do only about 46% damage, and um, I'm thinking he might uh, Shell Smash now, but it is too late. With the burn on him, the damage from Hex is doubled, and we get same type attack bonus from Drift Blim, so really, really close match, um, but that's just how I like it, as I've always said. So, great job to uh, all the pokes that were involved. We didn't have too many uh, too many huge threats aside from uh, Caesar and Azelf. So, I really, really like that. i um, able to see some Pokemon that usually you don't see at all on the battlefield. And let's see uh, if, if the next match will be similar. Yes? Yes. All right, another uh, Rotom lead. We've got Rotom Frost this time out against my Roserade, but Roserade does have the Sleep Powder, so I'm going to try and go for that. Unfortunately, it misses. He's able to get a Blizzard off, but that misses as well. So the first round, just a bunch of whiffing, which is fine. Um, I go for the Sleep Powder again and miss. This time he hits his Blizzard, which is able to bring me down to my Focus Sash. Really, really unfortunate. Um, I maybe should have set up some entry hazards with Roserade instead, but that's just how it goes sometimes. You can't always see what's going to happen. This time I do get the Sleep Powder, which is super, super nice. Uh, he brings that Rotom out, and that means I'm going to be able to get a free hit on the Duo Blade that comes in. Uh, unfortunately, I went for Sludge Bomb, <laughs> which is not going to do any damage at all to the Duo Blade. So I'm going to save my Rotom, uh, or my Roserade rather. <laughs> for a little later as Switch Fodder, and I go ahead and bring in my Furret now. Um, I'm thinking that this thing has an Eviolite, so I'm going to try and knock that off of it, and uh, that will make it extremely, extremely squishy. Um, unfortunately, he does get the Sword Stance. He goes for Sacred Sword, which is able to take down my Furret, but Furret basically did his job in knocking off the Eviolite, so I know that Lapras is going to be able to come in and uh, do some damage to this thing with Hydro Pump. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough damage. Uh, this thing's special defense is better than I thought, even without the EVO light, and he's able to Sacred Sword my Lapras. So we're down two Pokemon extremely early in this match, uh, which is just not a good thing at all. He goes for Shadow Sneak because obviously Electros is faster than Duo Blade, and uh, I'm able to get the knockoff one more time. I probably should have gone into Electros to start with uh, because I have a lot more to hit, the duo blade with, but that's just fine. He brings in the Corsola now. That thing is going to eat a Thunderbolt. Boom. This match is now kind of more even, maybe. Um, my Roserade is almost dead. My Electros is at half health. So we are on the losing end of this battle, as far as I can tell, this far. Um, so he sets up some spikes with his Chestnut. I'm going to go ahead and knock off whatever it has, which happens to be some leftovers. Um, Usually I build Electros with Acid Spray, Giga Drain, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, um, and Acid Spray and Flamethrower would be a really good potent combination against this Chestnut. Unfortunately, I'm not the one who made the move set, so uh, I just U-turn out of there. There's not a whole lot that I can do against the Chestnut with uh, this current Electros' build. The Chestnut goes for Spiky Shield, which I did kind of see coming, and I go ahead and set up the Calm Mind. Um, my... Psychic and Fire type is obviously going to do massive damage against his uh, Fighting and Grass type. He brings in the Empoleon now to save the Chestnut, but it is just a bit too late. Um, that thing takes massive damage from a Fire Blast because it is Water and Steel. And then uh, I'm able to finish it off with a Grass Knot. 
So slowly we are uh, getting ahead in this match. Entei is his last Pokemon. It takes massive damage from a Psy Shock because of my, uh, my Life Orb and my Calm Mind boosts. But Delphox is not able to weather a Stone Edge from that HP. Half health, basically. Uh, it, its defenses are paper thin, so it goes down to that Stone Edge, which is just fine. We go back into Electros. Um, he sees that coming, obviously. Switches into the Chestnut, um, which I'm not looking forward to facing with my Electros. If Roserade comes in, it's basically going to die from these spikes, which is why he set him up. Um, it did lose him some offensive momentum, but uh, not enough, apparently. <laughs> So I switch out again with the uh, Electros, U-turn my way out, and uh, he's drain punching back to full health, so I go into BHM, who is a pure psychic type from Gen 5, and he switches the Chestnut out, trying to save it from a psychic type attack, goes into the Entei, which eats a Psy Shock, and goes right down, which is really, really nice. Uh, that thing was a big, big threat. And now he's got a, a sleepy little Rotom, which... <laughs> I think we're going to do some pretty nice things against it with BHM. Uh, BHM is pretty slow, but his uh, attack stat is pretty huge. And in addition to that, we also get the critical hit on the Rotom. So that's super nice. His last Pokemon, Chestnut, is not going to be able to stand up to BHM. So it was a close match, definitely. Uh, but not quite enough gas to overcome me, the, the Pokemon Master. Uh, that's, that's a title that I gave myself. <laughs> Anyways, really, really good match uh, to all the people that were involved today. Thank you so much for allowing me to upload our fights. Uh, if you would like to fight uh, random battles, preferably, please leave a comment. I don't really do OU, RU, UU uh, that often. I do have some teams made, but they're not made extremely well. Anyways, friends, I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe on this video. Do let me know if you'd like to see some more random battles. I really, really love it. Uh, probably my favorite ladder on Pokemon Showdown. Definitely my favorite ladder. Anyways, I hope to see you in the next one. We'll be back next week with a little more of this. I hope that you'll enjoy it. Until then, friends. Bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.